Welcome back everyone. Let's get to work on the 1086. I'm hoping this uh, goes all right. I took the valve cover off. They only have about half the head bolts in, but yeah, it should work. bit of a mess in here. So only two bolts remaining that are holding that engine in. I don't know if you can even see them. They're above the starter hole. Right here's where those last two bolts are that I was talking about on the other tractor. They thread in right here. Starter sits about in here. I've got this fancy extension from Napa, Carlisle. Let's get this little button that puts the ball in. I hate it. It doesn't stay on. Sure. Oh, there. There you go. Came right off. Figured it wouldn't, uh, wouldn't act up when I was showing you guys. I like my old one I had, but they discontinued it. So, tape it as. I don't want this falling off somewhere. I already broke this bolt loose. And then I dropped the socket down in there because it fell off. Everything's funner with a cab on. Well, that ought to make it interesting. Can't appear to get that door open. Well, might be able to get the other bolt through there. Well, looks like I can get it from back here. Nothing to it. Well, the engine's out of there. Let's inspect this stuff. Oh boy. This looks like brand new. I bet that's not very old at all. These splines have a lot more wear on them than, than this one. I'm gonna pull this air cleaner off. It doesn't do much good anymore anyways. And it give me some room for the cherry picker. Bolts are a little bit hard to get at down there. That one was pretty snug. This one kind of looks like some fun too. Yeah, that looks as good a place as any to lift on, don't you think?
doesn't look so heavy until you start jacking off a few rounds here. Normally I got it in the half ton, but I figured we didn't need the hood clearance. So let's get that over to the tractor. I don't know if my cheap little cherry picker is getting tweaked or what. Engine's way off to the side and this uh, one wheel's off the ground. Might have to retire this one. I've had that thing for 20 years. So I made a couple changes to the cherry picker. One, this pin was slid way in. It looked like this leg was coming up. And I choked it up another one. So, see if, see if that takes care of it. I'm using a couple frame bolts on each side to help guide the engine. See, everything has to line up pretty dang close for this to go together here. There's a alignment dowel there that has to go in its hole. And the splines on both those shafts have to line up with the splines on the engine side on the clutch in order for everything to go together. I'm gonna put just a little bit of inward pressure on here so when I turn the crankshaft, the splines will start to engage. I'm not overdoing it with these, these are pretty light. Those clamps didn't really put that much pressure on anything, but it was just enough that uh, when I turned the crankshaft, it just fell into place. I couldn't get it by pushing by hand. It just uh, wasn't working. Those are pre pretty lightweight wood clamps, so just make sure you don't 
go crazy with them. I'll get those top two bolts put back in and this engine can hang. Well, there you go, guys. Getting some progress done on this thing. Can't wait till it's out of here. But there's a lot to do on it yet. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care and God bless. You want to run them?